friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing my normal nighttime cleaning, tidying up routine. And you all know how much I love a good house project. And since quarantine, having the kids home with me all day, nighttime is when I have been tackling all my DIYs. And I'm really excited to show you how easy this one was and how good it turned out. And this video is in collaboration with Kaylin Cash. Her and I have been friends for so long now, definitely since the beginning of this whole YouTube thing for me. And she is just the sweetest person. She is a mama of a adorable little boy named Brooks. She shares a ton of homemaking content on her channel. Her cleaning videos are so motivating. She shares recipes, home projects, just a lot of similar content to mine. So I know you guys will absolutely love her. I will have her video linked down below and I will also leave her Instagram. She shares a lot of motivating content on her stories and she recently hit 10k followers which is such a huge milestone. I am so proud of her and I'm really excited to finally be collabing together so make sure you go check her out after watching my video. Okay, so now is the part where I show you how wrecked my house truly is after an entire day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by decluttering and tidying everything up. A lot of times I have my son pick up his own toys, but today was just a really long day. It was past his bedtime and I was like, you know what, let's get him to bed. I will tidy everything up and finally get to work on my DIY that I am so excited to share with you guys. And if you are new here, I love cleaning and listening to podcasts. I love true crime podcasts to be specific, but since it's nighttime, I don't like to really listen to any of the real scary ones. So my go-to for nighttime is True Crime Obsessed. They will talk about different popular documentaries that are out and just kind of make fun of like the lawyers and all of like the talking heads involved and it is so funny. They just started on the Tiger King, which I was absolutely obsessed with, and I just love listening to them. They crack me up. If you are into true crime at all, you should definitely check out their podcast. Again, it's called True Crime Obsessed, and I am clearly obsessed. cleaning spray tonight. It's the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner in the scent lavender. I'm pretty sure it's part of their spring line. I don't think summer is out quite yet, but it's one of my favorites. And actually the other day when my husband got home from work and I had just cleaned off like the tables or the island or something, he walked in and he was like, what is that amazing smell? Because it is just that good. He usually doesn't care about stuff like that. So I was impressed that even he loved this scent. Thank you. 
my wildest dreams. Oh, yeah. One area I have been putting off for way too long is cleaning in my stove here. It is such a mess and tonight I figured I should just go ahead and clean it. So we are going to get this done. I do have a bunch of like burnt on stuff on one of the burners. I try to use a little like butter knife to scrape it off and it worked a little bit but I don't know I think I may have to soak these or something they do come off but if you have any suggestions of how I can get that like burnt on stain off definitely let me know in the comments because that is just not a good look So full disclosure, I try to do dishes every single night, but honestly, if I'm feeling tired, this is the part that I skip. I am more concerned about the decluttering and just wiping off all of the surfaces than the actual dishes. But tonight I actually need to use the sink as part of this DIY that I'm gonna be showing you guys. So I'm kind of forced to do the dishes, but it really is nice though to wake up with a clean sink that's not full of dishes but lately honestly I've just been prioritizing my sleep I have a newborn and a four-year-old and since we've been self-quarantined we have just been home all of the time and it is very exhausting <laughs> Okay, and I was feeling extra tonight, so extra, extra. So I decided to deep clean my sink, and my favorite way to do this is sprinkling some baking soda in here and then going in with half of a lemon and just scrubbing it all in. And what's so satisfying about doing this is you'll start to see everything like fizz and it leaves everything so bright and shiny. And then after I'm done, I just throw the lemon down the food disposal and that helps it you know smell nice and fresh so since I decided to actually clean the dishes tonight I decided to also go the extra mile and deep clean my sink it really doesn't take that long I wish I did it more because it looks so nice after
Okay, now the part that honestly you guys are all waiting for and probably just skipped past all of the cleaning stuff to get to this part is the DIY. I am using this Wall Doctor beadboard. It is a textured paintable wallpaper. I know, weird, right? Wallpaper in the kitchen, but I have read so many good reviews on this. It feels pretty sturdy and when you paint it, it actually makes it more stiff, if that makes sense and a little bit more durable and also with the paint it makes it like washable if you use like a satin paint or even an eggshell so that's why I feel comfortable using it on my kitchen island I always wanted to add some sort of texture to this island I thought it would just look so nice I'm also going to be adding a peg rail on here which I'm going to do in another video but this is just kind of the first step so I'll list everything that I'm using down below and link this um, a specific beadboard wallpaper but I have never hung wallpaper before I'm a total rookie so let's see how this goes all right and I debated cutting out this footage because I was making this project so much harder than it had to be when I first started I thought that the best way to do this would be to measure out all of like the special cuts and do all of the cuts ahead of time and I am terrible at measuring so that didn't really work out well for me it took a lot more time than I expected at one point I almost totally gave up because I was like, what did I get myself into? This is just not for me. But by the third panel over here, you'll see that I learned you don't actually have to do the pre-cuts. All you have to do is get it ready to go onto the wall and you can use a little razor blade to cut, carefully cut around all of like the special areas, any of the extra wallpaper. You can just cut that right off. And I started to save so much time doing this. After I realized that it was such a game changer, it took me less than half of the time, maybe a quarter of the amount of time to do this project. So I wanted to include that just for anyone else who is interested in doing this and has no idea what they're doing. You can go ahead and hang that right up on the wall, girl. You do not need to do any special measuring or cutting ahead of time. This is completely dummy proof, which is so good to know because I was seriously freaking out there for a little bit. So yeah. All right, and that girl who is picking up her supplies is completely confident and excited to head on over to the other side. I feel like I have got this. I have it figured out. I made it way more complicated in the beginning, and it's just going to come together so much smoother, and spoiler alert, it does. Another thing that kind of threw me off with this project is after you make your cut, all you have to do is take the wallpaper and put it in water for 30 seconds, which I thought was a little weird, but I mean, that's what you have to do. And it kind of activates this like sticky glue that's on the back. And after you soak it in the water for 30 seconds, hence why I had to actually wash my dishes this night, you put it on the counter or put it on a hard surface and fold it in half and let it sit for five minutes. I didn't have the patience for that. I let it sit for for like maybe a minute and it still worked just fine but apparently this is supposed to like activate the glue on the back so that I thought was weird but again I have never hung wallpaper before and it worked really well for me I thought it was cool that I didn't have to you know add the glue separately or like have a whole separate step it's already on the back and it's just activated by soaking it in the water so I thought that was really easy and user-friendly hands down the most satisfying thing about this project Project is using this little like wallpaper smoother thing it was so satisfying like smoothing all those air bubbles out seeing it all just like stick real nicely on there I, it was just really enjoyable for me and you actually do get some of the glue as you like squeeze out any air bubbles that will come out so just have a towel or something on hand to just wipe all of that away it was really easy and yeah I really just could have stayed there and just smooth that thing the entire night
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs you can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down yeah. The sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Okay hey guys, be completely honest, but does this not look amazing? I think it looks like the real thing. It took me no time at all once I figured out what the heck I was doing. And I haven't tested this theory, but apparently when you want to remove this, it comes right off and it's not going to damage your wall or leave any residue behind. So if you are renting or unsure if you want to keep this in a space, this should be okay for you to do. I know that sounds so like confident and you should definitely take my word for it, but just saying that is what the instructions claim. So I don't know, try it out if you're feeling a little risky. The only other things that I'm going to do to this is use paint on it and the reason for that is just to make it more sturdy and durable and also if anything gets on it which I mean in my house it definitely will you'll be able to wipe it off so that is a must and I'm also going to add this little peg rail here I am of course going to be painting that white because I just love having everything white in my house I wish my floors were white but that is a project for another day um, so if you guys want to see the totally finished product here and how I style these peg rails and just how everything looks make sure to follow me on Instagram Instagram because I'm going to share pictures and then also subscribe because I have this final project that I'm going to be showing as well as a ton of other projects, home DIYs, all that kinds of stuff. I am constantly just looking for new ways to upgrade our house that are like affordable and within my limited skill set. So if you are interested in that, make sure you subscribe. Thank you again for watching. I am going to go to bed and hope that my husband takes the first shift when my daughter wakes up probably any minute after I get up there. Wish me luck, you guys, and I will see you in my next video.